I think there's like some psychological thing that makes my nose itch so bad every time I try to film my intro or maybe it's just the lint and the debris in my office from stuff um but anyway how's it going everyone welcome back to my channel <laughs> I want to start off by apologizing for the lack of a pride project this year. I do have something planned, it's just not, it was just not going to come out in time. So look out for something very gay and very goth <laughs> coming out in the next uh, few weeks. I, I am very excited to show you guys what I have planned. In the meantime, today I am going to be customizing a Shadow High doll for the first time which is also very exciting for me because I'm a huge fan of the Shadow High collection. It's fun to customize a doll that you like, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's hop right into it. Our candidate for this makeover is this Luna Madison doll, and I have to be honest, I think she has one of my least favorite outfits from the first Shadow High series, so I thought she'd be a good candidate to give a makeover to. These little sandals are the absolute devil to remove. I ended up having to just rip them off. It just wasn't happening, y'all. Also, you can call me a hater, but I just think socks plus gladiator sandals is a questionable look. I won't call myself a fashion expert, but um, it's an interesting choice. <laughs> Once I finish removing the less heinous parts of her outfit, I can move on to cutting off her hair. I had no issues with her hairstyle. I do think that the silver hair with the little buns is very cute, but I just had something different in mind for this project. Once I had her nice and bald, I did my favorite part of the prep process, which was popping out her eyes with a flathead screwdriver. Once I successfully removed her eyes from her head, I was able to take off her factory paint with 100% acetone. Because of her glittery makeup, this took a bit of scrubbing. So originally, I was planning on using the eyes that she came with and just like popping them back into her head when her face up was done because I don't have the supplies to make inset eyes, and I didn't want to get them. Uh, but I accidentally ended up melting the attached lashes on the eyes that she came with, so they weren't usable anymore. So I had to get a little creative, so I shoved some clay into her eye sockets and just used that to smooth them out. That way I can paint eyes on top of them later. So while I had my clay out, I decided to give her some little pointy elf ears because my original idea when I wanted to make this project was I wanted to make like a little, a little drow elf because she has gray skin and so I thought it'd be very fitting for that. Uh, in the end, once her hair is on, you can kind of barely see them, so I should have made them bigger but we live and we learn. <laughs> I still think they're really cute even if they are too small. Once all the clay was dry, I did my best to color match the modifications to her skin. Once I finally have a blank canvas, I'm able to go in and do her face up. I'm not really used to painting these sort of rainbow high face molds. I've only done one other like rainbow high custom ever before and you know it's a little bit of a challenge for me personally because I'm not I'm not a big eyeball girly um, for my personal style so it took a little bit of work for me to figure out what exactly I wanted to do. I decided to go with a really bold graphic eyeliner and I wanted to give her purple eyes because that was the eye color that she came with and I just really love how purple eyes look on this gray skin tone. What was kind of nice about having all this extra eye space that I'm not used to working with is that it gave me a little bit of room to do some gradients. 
I even did an extra little gradient in her pupils because I thought it would look really cool and kind of break up some of that huge black space from her massive pupils. <laughs> I decided to go over her black eyeliner with some of this metallic silver paint because I thought it would create a little bit more of a detailed look and maybe give the illusion of like a cut crease or like a sparkly lid or something. I decided to keep her lips fairly simple and just give her some black lipstick. I really love the way that Rainbow High, Shadow High dolls have their lips painted. I think they just look so cute and so detailed. And so I almost debated on just like keeping the factory paint for her mouth, but I decided that'd look weird with everything else. I'm just giving her some white eyebrows because that's the color of hair I'm planning on giving her later. Once the paint is all dry, I can go in with chalk pastels and blush her face. It was very interesting blushing the skin tone because I don't think I've ever really made a dark gray doll like this before. So I'm just using some like dark gray and black for shadowing as well as pink to add a little bit of color and life to her skin. Even though I'm not sure if someone with gray skin would blush pink, but I don't care. I just want to make her cute. I'm gonna go on a quick tangent while I'm blushing her face. Just to let you guys know that my personal life has been kind of shaken up over the past couple of months. And as a result, it's been kind of difficult to get work done consistently. So I just wanted to thank you guys for your patience and you know supporting me by watching my videos while everything has been kind of crazy over here. <laughs> so if you watch this far and you like this video, consider liking it. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any thoughts and opinions, do leave those in the comments below because I love reading them. And even though it's been a little bit slow, I do still have a lot of ideas and things coming down the line that I'm very excited to show you guys. So if you don't want to miss that, uh, please consider subscribing. Also, the link to my store will be in the description, so if you're interested in purchasing this doll or any of the other projects you've seen me make on this channel, you can check them out there. Now I just need to add her catch lights and then lock everything in with several very watered down layers of liquid sealant. I use matte Mod Podge for this process, but you could use whatever works for you. I decided that this girly really needed 3D faux lashes, so I'm just adding those now. I'm placing down some Mod Podge on her lash line and waiting till it gets a little bit tacky before adding some false eyelashes. Because of the nature of gravity, this can be a kind of frustrating process, but if you stay calm and just take your time, it's not too too bad you know if you just finagle things around eventually you'll get the lashes where you want them to be once i have the lashes in place i add a couple extra layers of security by adding more glue around the lash line Once her head was finished, I was able to move on to working on her outfit. So I decided to take her original garment and modify it. Are you for real? It's July 5th and they're still doing fireworks. Anyway, I cut off the little extra short bits because I didn't need them. And I'm kind of just turning it into the bodice portion of her dress. I also went ahead and removed the little shadow high insignia because my girl just doesn't go there anymore. Once I got the bodice all trimmed down the way I wanted it, I decided to hot glue this sheer black fabric with these glittery cobwebs on it around the base of the bodice to create like a little sheer skirt. I had this fabric left over from a Halloween wreath I made like years ago. I got it from the dollar store around Halloween time and I just had a bunch of it left over and traditionally because this girl's supposed to be like a drow elf and I think there's a lot of like spider theming with drow, I decided to kind of go with that with this project so she's gonna have a lot of spiderweb motifs. 
I debated on what exactly I wanted to do to deal with the sheerness of the cobweb fabric and I decided to just add this black lining fabric underneath it to just keep it simple. Here's what I ended up with after everything was glued together. I decided now was a good time to reattach her head to her body and it was very difficult so I ended up doing it off camera. Now I can give this girly some hair, so I'm using just brushed out acrylic yarn and matte Mod Podge to attach it to her scalp. Once everything was glued down, she was ready for a little haircut. So I'm using an eyebrow razor for this and I'm just giving her kind of this like short poofy bob because I really liked how the short hair looked on her while I was like cutting off her original factory hair, so I decided to stick with something a little bit shorter. For the rest of her outfit, I ended up just using some of the factory clothes and accessories that I already had in my stock box, including this little headpiece from an LOL OMG doll, with this little glitter jacket from the same doll, as well as the little gloves that she came with originally. I decided that she needed another accessory, so I took this coffee stopper thing and I'm turning it into a little scepter for her. So I painted the ends black and then I wrapped the stick portion of it with some black embroidery thread. And then I took one of these classic black plastic spider rings and removed the ring portion in order to use it as a sort of focal piece on the scepter. I wanted the spire to stand out more, and I also wanted to tie the scepter into the rest of her outfit, which is very glittery and very sparkly, so I just added some silver glitter onto the scepter as well. Once all of that was dry, I used some hot glue to attach the spider to the scepter. After the scepter was finished, I struggled for an agonizing amount of time trying to figure out how to get her to hold it, because I've never had to make a rainbow high doll holds something before and their hands are kind of an annoying shape to work with but I eventually figured it out and once that was done she's complete and here are the final results I I'll be really honest I didn't like her for a very long time but now that she's done I do think that she's really cute and if you also think that she's cute she'll be in my shop the link to that is in the description I hope to see you all next time love you bye